All right, we're going to continue with Marshall County Media Day today with the Gunnersville Wildcats. And I got a text from Coach Reese a couple of days ago and said that he was going to be out of town regretfully. He was going to take a few days off and go on vacation. So he has sent his offensive and defensive coordinator. And Coach Kennedy's already told me he's never done this before with Coach Thomas, so we've got to be gentle with him, guys. So uh, the Gunnersville Wildcats, uh, Coach Kennedy, uh, Coach Thomas, I don't know which one uh, wants to give us kind of an opening statement, but first let the guys, if they want to, introduce themselves. If you'll do that, then uh, fill some questions. We'd appreciate it. Uh, E.J. Havis, inside linebacker. Uh, Dave Peterson, wide receiver and safety. Eli Morrison, quarterback. Carter Britt, H-back. So one of you may – I know Coach Thomas, defense coordinator, you may want to speak on defense and uh, going into the year and then let Coach Kennedy speak on the offense, if that okay. would be okay. All right. Uh, we're excited about this upcoming season. We've uh, – the players have – Worked hard this uh, summer, doing seven on sevens, lifting weights, and uh, this time of year is always exciting because we know that uh, the season is about to crank up. Defensively, we've got six returning starters. Uh, the guys that uh, are not starters have played quite a bit of football uh, last year and the year before, but uh, we've got uh, two returning starters on the defensive line, Nick Carfano and Brooks Frazier. Carl Christian is uh, starting right now as, uh, on that D-line. In linebacker position, we got two out of three starters coming back. Uh, E.J. Havis and Avery Clifton are our starters. Connor Flanagan and Gus Harris are, are playing in that position as well. And in the secondary, we've got one returning starter, and that's Date Peterson here. And he's played a lot of football for us. And we've got uh, two newcomers that have played a lot of football, Braden Holsenback and Cam Gentle. So we're excited. Uh, the outside linebacker position, Tray, uh, Trayvon Avery's starter, good football player. He's back. We got some new guys, Tyler Thomas and E. Nelson Delva, uh, filling in at the outside linebacker position. So we've got a lot of returning guys. We've got some new guys, which um, is pretty common for most programs. And uh, we're just excited to, to crank it up and see see what we got. Coach Kennedy, you want to speak on the offense? And offensively, we returned. Would you slide the microphone over, please? There you go. Offensively, we returned uh, about six starters, too, including Eli, who started the last three games. We did lose some quality receivers. Uh, we lost a couple of quality linemen. Uh, one of them's playing uh, at Barry this year. So, uh, but we, I think we're going to be able to replace them. Um, Royce Balkum is a returning starter on the offensive line. He's gotten several major offers, uh, Navy. Middle Tennessee State, uh, UT Chattanooga. Then our running back is Julian Jordan, who's got an offer from Mississippi State. Um, we returned two other offensive linemen, Kate Altum and, and Ethan Pass, who's uh, uh, both played well for us and will continue to. Um, even though we lost three quality receivers, we're returning uh, a couple. Uh, Carter's, of course, our H back. He's going to be rotating in. Uh, this is the tallest group of receivers I'm ever going to have. You know, we have four that are 6'3 or, or taller. Um, we have a, another newcomer that's going to be a sophomore, Jack Lenore, who's going to fill in at receiver. So I'm also rotating in. So, you know, we're, we got some good quality skill and we got some good quality linemen. And I think we're going to uh, build on last year's and the previous year's success and just keep playing hard and, and keep executing on offense. And I think we're going to have a good, another good quality year. Uh, coaches, then I'll ask the players this too, but uh, talk about what you've done this summer. If you've gone to OTAs, if you've gone seven on sevens from the defensive and offensive standpoint, uh, how do you think that has gone, the coaches? Then I'll ask the players that too. So. We went to Gaston City for seven on seven. We went to Boaz. Uh, we had an OTA with uh, Fort Payne and Susan Moore. Um, and mainly that kind of stuff is it's competitive so you get to see guys compete but it's not football per se and we know that and uh, but we still think we get a lot out of it you know the quarterback obviously gets a lot out of it and the receivers and the, and the secondary <clears throat> so we we do that every summer and we thought we uh you know fared fairly well but uh we we understand that the pads are coming on here in a week or two and that's a totally different ball game 
Coach Kenny, you want to comment on that? We were – I mean, it was a good summer. It was productive. Um, I thought we got better offensively. We kind of struggled at Gaston City, but that was the first one with some new kids. Their first experience was seven on seven, and they kind of shot away early. But as the games kept going, we got better. Uh, seven on seven to me personally is one of the funnest things that we do, especially offensively. We've had a lot of success with it also. Eli had a great summer throwing the ball. We actually won the Boaz seven on seven, playing against some quality teams and some teams that we'll see this year. So it was a, it was a good experience for our kids and I think it was productive and it, it got us a, a lot better for the incoming season. So guys, I'm gonna ask you that question. Y'all went out and played seven on sevens. Do you think your position groups and the players you play with, do you think you guys got better this summer and came together as a team? Uh, yes, sir. I think we played, like, well together. I mean, there's some stuff we that we have to clean up, like coverages and stuff. But other than that, I think we did pretty well. Uh, yes, sir. Like EJ said, I think we, we learned a lot about each other this summer. Um, we built a lot of chemistry to the 7-on-7. Seven seven. I think that's over, the 7-on-7 seven is seven overlooked as far as – like how much you actually get done other than just football. It's like a bonding experience. You spend a full day with your team and you learn a lot about each other. So that was probably the most beneficial part about it. I think working on timing is a big, big factor with the seven on sevens. I built a relationship with my receivers and my running back. And I know where they're gonna be almost every single snap now as to the beginning of the summer, I didn't know that. But the seven on sevens and the OTAs helped me build that relationship and that timing with them. Yeah, I think the receivers have gotten a lot more comfortable with Eli as a quarterback and just um, worked on timing and all of our plays. I think we've really got our plays down this summer. This is for the players. Guys, you know, Coach Reese is not here. Uh, so, you know, I get, you're not going to throw him under the bus naturally. But uh, I want to know what is it like to play for Coach Reese? You know, he's been successful uh, as a head football coach. What is it like to play for him? Uh, it's an honor to play for Coach Reese, uh, him like pushing us every day, like just trying to get the whole team better, stuff like that. Yeah, Coach Reese is, uh, he's one of a kind as far as a coach goes. I think it's, it's really, it's motivating for us because he's been around for so long. I mean, ever since I was a kid and just growing up watching Gunners with football, you know, you idolize those guys and then it's kind of like, I mean, fair comparison to Coach Saban, you just see, you see him that whole time and you really look up to him as a good coach, and Coach Reese just kind of idolizes himself like that. I think, you know, looking up to Coach Reese, uh, he is just in such a leadership role, and he handles himself so so well. He just gets gets his business done, and he doesn't, you know, try to show off or anything like that. And I think if any coach is able to show off, it's him, and he doesn't do that. And I think that's really admirable. So I I really respect him. Yeah, I think it's an honor to play for Coach Reese. He's a great coach, and he really knows how to get the best out of our players and just um, how to make everybody better each day. Hey, uh, this is for uh, Eli and Coach Kennedy. Um, you know, uh, Antonio goes down into the season last year. That's a terrible thing at the time. But it seemed to me that experience is going to be really great this year as we go into the season with a new quarterback. Uh, Eli playing the last three games, was it the last three or last four? Four. Last four games, that was my mistake. But uh, him coming in and filling in for Antonio, who did go down against Cosborough, um, he gave him some experience. And, you know, just like anybody first time out there, you're a little bit nervous, may struggle a little bit. But Eli grew as the year went. And then, you know, of course, we ran into a buzzsaw with Ramsey in the second round, who's a very tough opponent. And Eli kept his composure and played well. We just didn't have the – the animals to take them on at that time. But, uh, you know, he, he grew, he got better, and I, I think it's going to be um, a good year for us and a good year with Eli leading us. Eli, what are your thoughts on all that? I think that mainly it was a confidence uh, builder for me. I think that if you can't play with confidence, then you're not going to be very successful. But uh, obviously it was very hard to see a leader of the team go down like that. But... It took me a little bit, but I tried to step into that role and just hopefully build upon that from last year into this year in the off season and perform and help my team, you know, build on that this season. Hey, it seemed to me in the spring game, I mean, you looked like you had gotten bigger and stronger since last season. How, how did what, what did you do in the off season to kind of get there? 
uh, I just realized that I got to help out my team in every way I can, and I just hit the weight room, put on 25 pounds. I I thought that every way I could help them, that's that's un, that's selfish to me to just hold that back. So I just really focused on my body and my my mind. Guys, I'd like to know, uh, you know. Gunnersville won the county three years in a row. Arab kind of upset you last year after Antonio got hurt. I mean, uh, what, who do you see as being the leader in the county race and the region race this year? Anybody? Well, we, we're just focusing on ourselves. That's all, that's you know what good teams do is we've got uh, things we've got to work on offensively, defensively, special teams. Um, Arab had a great season last year. They're a great program. Albertville's always tough. Boaz is always tough. Um, a lot of teams on our scales are tough. And we just take it one week at a time, focus on ourselves. If we do what we're supposed to do, um, that's all we can ask is, you know, from a coaching standpoint, do your best. As a player standpoint, do your best and let the chips fall where they may. Um, but we're not focused on anybody else. We're just focused on ourselves. You, you guys have touched on the experience and the guys that you're bringing back this year, and I think it's huge to be able to bring your quarterback back and have that a little bit of experience from last year. But what is it going to be from this year's team that's going to help you guys really get over that hump and make a really deep playoff run, get out of that second round? Um, what would you say you, you know, obviously it's the start of the season, you got to get to that point, but what is it going to take to get to that point at the end of the year? Well, I think if we stay healthy, we'll have a good shot. We're not very deep. Uh, we got a lot of quality kids and a lot of quality players, but the, the depth is not there really yet with our younger group. So if we can avoid injury and we can keep building from week to week, I think we will have a shot at making a, a decent playoff run this year. All right, guys, thanks for being with us today. Uh, Coach Thomas, Coach Kennedy, filled in very admirably for <laughs> Coach Reese. Uh, I don't know if he's watching on the internet this morning, but he could be. So, guys, we wish you the best, uh, and uh, good luck in 2023. Thanks for being with us Thank today. You. Thank you.